Welcome back to the stove yard. We're gonna do chicken drumsticks today on the big green egg. It's kind of like a competition style as the Americans call it. So um, we're gonna prep the chicken drumsticks right now. It's our drumstick. We're gonna pull the skin back. No laughing guys, no laughing. And as you can see here, you see the silver skin or the tendon, which you're gonna make a slight incursion. Try not to take a lot of meat off it, of course. Same here. So that's the tendon and the silver skin bits will be the, uh, the chewy bits that you normally get. And that's probably one of the reasons why some people don't really like chicken legs, although it's a lot more flavorful, of course, and a lot more moist than your um, fillet or breast. That's them all done. Uh, we're now gonna make a quick brine, give them a brine with some buttermilk and pickle juice. So we've got a pickle juice. We have buttermilk. This will all break down the meat and give it a lovely flavor too. Once they're all in the brine, we leave it sitting for half an hour, an hour, maybe four hours. You could do it overnight, but we don't have the time for that, so we're gonna leave it for about an hour. And take it out, pat dry it and give it a bit of rub. That's the drumsticks in the brine for about an hour, so we're gonna take them out, pat dry them, and then we're gonna put some lovely rub on it. We're gonna quickly turn over all our chicken drumsticks and rub the bottom bit first, turn them over again, and rub the top bit. The rubs that we're using today is the Angus and Oink Buffalo Soldier and the Angus and Oink The General. So we, uh, we chose for the two of them because the Buffalo Soldier has a bit of spice in it and the General is like a general all-purpose one. So it gives a nice combination of two different flavors. Plus slices of butter to the dish and some Worcester sauce to create an extra layer of uh, flair flavor. Now we're just gonna get the butter to melt. Get the butter melted. Give it a reshake. Okay. We're gonna put little bits of butter on top of the chicken. With the butter on, you're gonna have some extra flavor and keep it nice and moist. Back on the egg then for about an hour at 150 degrees. And we've got a few spare ones, so we're just gonna put them on the side. Now we're gonna make a little uh, glaze for our drumsticks. So we're gonna use the Pit Boss uh, barbecue sauce. I have some homemade barbecue sauce and the Long Branch by Well Turkey. And thank you very much, Well Turkey, for sending me this bottle. It's actually too good to use for cooking, but we're gonna use it anyway. Mix the two barbecue sauces. and thin it out because you don't want it too thick. You can use apple juice or you can whatever else, but I like to use bourbon. Then it kind of coats the spoon as you can see. So that's perfect consistency. I'll show you again. There you are. Now we're making a little uh, ranch type dressing, but I forgot about the yogurt or the creme fraiche, but we got a bit of milk. We got some mayonnaise, we got some celery salt, onion, garlic, pickles, dill, and parsley.
like to add a little bit of hot sauce. This is the Let's Say Yes by Rocket Doodle Doo. Actually, it's a Snow Patrol hot sauce. The band from, where are they from? Banger. Banger. Banger, how is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where in Banger, kinda. Just gonna give the chicken a quick baste and do a quick temperature check at the same time. For about an hour, just broke them. They're like 80 degrees Celsius. Take them off. We're just dipping them in the barbecue sauce, sticking them back on the rack. Should wait for a few seconds, minutes, let it cool down a bit, but hi. Tiny bit of glaze or barbecue sauce where we touched our fingers so they get equally an equal color and uh, up the temperature of the egg a little bit to about 180 and we're gonna put the drumsticks back on for about 15 minutes. Here we are 15 minutes later, the moment we've all been waiting for. They look beautiful. Here we go. Time to plate up. Got a couple of pickles. Pickles are always nice. Pickle and chicken, I eh? always goes well. There we go. Or the general just for looks and flavor of course. And that's how you cook chicken drumsticks on the big green egg. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.